Water's a little bit higher than I uh, would have expected. There's a hole over there, there's a hole between a couple of rocks over here. It's been a little while since I've uh, hit the Monocacy, so I kind of hope for the best here. Good morning folks and welcome back to the channel that always leaves you wondering when the hell is the next video going to drop? I do apologize for that. Uh, <laughs> point of this video is to actually get some fishing in. Uh, it's been a little while since I've actually done some intentional fishing. The air temp is around 57, 58 degrees and the water temp, which had already collided to the mid 30s, is way, way up. Uh, we're looking at about 46, 47 degrees. It's been uh, quite a warm up here in the mid-Atlantic for late in the year. And considering that I'm out here on December 31st, this water is a lot warmer than it should be right now. And the fact that it went down and then came back up might actually be able to crash a couple of fish today. here and go from there hoping even if I can't find any smallies there might be a couple of uh, fall fish cruising through here it hasn't been unusual in this temperature of water so yeah, so yeah let's uh, talk about that the ooh, I got a fish go All right December 31st smallmouth nice little guy and that is on the 1 16th ounce mule fishing jig head Z-man big TRD copper truce Tony you really can't go wrong with that bait Get another fish or two up here. And if not, we're gonna go ahead and head downstream. Now that I know what can potentially work, I have confidence that I can attract fish. It's just a matter of finding them. And finding where they're hanging out. There's also a couple of things that I wanna to talk to you guys about. We'll get along with that as we go here today. There we go. That feels a little different. That feels like a fall fish. I think it is a fall fish. 
They just have a <laughs> they have a have a different hit about them. There we go. Nice. Nice. Digging it. Doing okay so far today. Let's see if we can find another one or two. Usually where you find one fall fish, you will find others. I don't know if you guys see what I'm doing here. I'm you know, kind of facing a bit of a cross current situation. And I'm mending my line just like you would if you were fly fishing. Just eliminate some of the slack. There's a the fish. Nice. Another fall fish. It's like the fall fish are just crushing it to this. This is awesome. Nothing huge in the fall fish department. I, I don't expect that I will ever get anything a huge, huge fall fish in this river. Although, Gary popped a very decent, I think it was a 15 and a half earlier this season. I also want to get closer to that part of the hole over there, see if we can get into anything. There's a fish. Large mouth, three species day on December 31st. Are you kidding me? Unreal. Sweet. Look at that. Heck yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. This is unbelievable. This is almost like a middle of a spring or fall day loving it anyway got some pretty good stuff coming up I know I keep saying that but <laughs> I had a heck of a computer crash had to replace a little bit of equipment my studio is almost done I'm really looking forward to that I've got a series coming up called Old Stomping Grounds. Most of it was filmed uh, late summer, early fall. I've got my last words on this kayak here. And I've got a new kayak build series coming up. Gary and I are working on that right now. We've had a little bit of a hang up on that, but I don't think it's gonna affect much. Regardless, everything's coming out before spring. Now that I've kind of got my stuff together and have decided which direction I want the channel to go. Oh, I just got freaking crushed. Anyway, now that I've got that stuff figured out, should be uh, pretty regular rolling videos starting in just a couple of days here. At any rate, things are coming. Thank you very much for hanging in there with me, folks and not uh, deciding to unsubscribe. <laughs> and the whole idea right now is to get up and over a thousand as quickly as I possibly can. As there's been a severe trend of whenever my videos hit over 200 hits or whatnot, uh, YouTube likes to uh, place ads on it. So if we're gonna have ads on my videos, we might as well have the revenue going in the right place. All right, thanks for watching and we will see you the next time.